Hello and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So tonight I'm going to be planting up some new um, vegetables that are going to be going into my grow tent garden and for the first time we're going to try something new that I've never grown indoors before and I'm very excited about and that is some sugar snap peas. So these are four little uh, plants that I have started from uh, seed just in the rock wool here. I put them in some rock wool, surrounded them by some of these clay balls. I've had them under the grow lights for I think a couple weeks and they, I think I planted five in here. Four of them have grown. So we're going to set these up now in a crack key hydroponic system and get them growing in the grow kit. So as you'll see all over my basement garden, these are my go-to containers for the crack key method. They work perfectly. I love everything about these. So the reason I choose these all the time is they are lightweight. They, the color of the container and the lid block out the light so it you know helps with that LJ. They have a little handle here so they're easy to move around and grab inside your uh, tent or off the shelf. And when it comes time to cutting a hole, you don't have to have any drills or anything special. Just have your net cup here to measure with, an X-Acto knife, and you're good to go. So I just kind of trace around my net cup here with this X-Acto knife. You can wear gloves if you're a little scared of getting cut, but usually if you have a nice board underneath it acts as a good cutting board. So once you have that circle traced out you just a matter of kind of holding your knife down firmly and twisting trying to stay on that pattern. It's not going to be a perfect circle and you can adjust it after but like I said you don't need any drills or anything fancy tools to uh, cut through these lids. So you can see how easy that was. Then I just check to see if it fits. As you can see it's a little bit tight. So I just need to kind of slowly make the circle a little bit bigger. So that net cup just sits in there nicely. So after you've trimmed it up and got it fitting so that the cup slides right in there, you're ready to go. Now we're just going to fill up the container and get the nutrients ready. Okay, so let's talk about the nutrients that we are going to be mixing up here now for my peas. So I have been using this three-part blend here from uh, Holland Secret. It's been working good. I, I don't know if it's any better than any other product out there, but it just happens to be the blend that I purchased. I've been using it for everything that I'm growing this year and so far everything's doing good. So when I start up a, a new plant in my crack key method, I usually follow the the early vegetative measurements. So this at the back will give you um, different stages of your plant and then you're supposed to kind of follow those measurements for the three parts based on you know what stage your plant is at. So I, I say we're past the seedling cutting stage. We're going to get to the early vegetative stage. Mix up a, you know, a very diluted blend of nutrients for these little plants to start feeding off of. So I'm going to mix it up here. I also have been adding cal calcium and magnesium. This is called Cali Magic. I usually put some of that into all of my uh, water as well. So I just started adding this into my nutrient water last year, about midway through the season. And I think it seems to help um, with my cucumbers and my tomatoes. And so now I just add it to my blend all the time. So I recommend that as well. So I have uh, guesstimated I have about three liters of water in this container that's gonna be for the peas. The measurements on here are based on four liters. So I'm just gonna downsize it a little bit in my measurements. I try not to worry about it too much and then afterwards we'll we'll test the pH and the ECs on these just to make sure we're not too strong. So 
So I just did a quick Google on what the EC level and pH should be for uh, hydroponic peas. And it looks like the EC levels kind of on the lower end compared to some of the other plants needs. So we're going to just check and see this might be a little bit too strong. So we'll see first of all what, what the readings are. So I'm going to first do the, the pH reading. And it says here for peas, the pH should be somewhere between six and seven. That's kind of the, pretty much the standard for any of um, my hydroponic vegetables that I'm growing, that it should be somewhere in that six to seven range. When you're using the pH meter, usually uh, you have to hold it in here for about 30 seconds. And it is holding at about 6.3, so pH is good. And this is just tap water that uh, I've been using for all my hydroponics. It is city treated water, but usually what I do is I fill up two or three big jugs in my shower down here and let it sit for at least, you know, a day or two and then let all those, uh, those, those, the chlorine and all the, the treatments that have gone into it kind of settle and it's been working good for me. So now I'm going to check the EC here. And it says here that EC for P should be between 0 0.8 and 1.8. And my EC is coming at 1.6. So that's good. So it shouldn't be too strong for the peas to uh, start off with. So we are ready to get these peas into some nutrient water. So up until now, these peas have been just um, watered with plain water. They haven't gotten any nutrients, which, uh, you know, seedlings don't need initially. And I don't think you'll be able to see this, but I don't know if you can see this without me spilling, but there are some little tiny weeds. Or there are some little tiny roots popping out the bottom. And... I've got it set up so that they will reach the water, but not fully submerge the whole plant because so, you don't want to drown it. it. It does need some air. So I'm just going to set that up. And that is it. These four pea plants are going to go into the grow tent. So I just want to show you the kind that I'm growing here. These are called a sugar and snap pea. I picked them because they are kind of a dwarf variety. They don't grow super big because not a lot of room in my grow tent and they have a days to maturity of 60 days um, what else can I tell you so these like I said are just a short plant with short vines that shouldn't need too much support so I think that's going to be an ideal type um, pea to be growing in the grow tent so I'm also going to be adding another tomato plant to my grow tent this is actually a cutting that I had taken from my garden at the end of the season. It's a roadster tomato, which is kind of like a beef steak. And I had it going in my grow tent and the I had an accident one night in there and broke the plant right off, right at the roots or right at the top of the uh, container here. So what I did was I just took the cutting, put it in some water and I got it rerooted again. So it's all ready to go again. It's got a nice, strong stem here. It's got some blooms already happening here in this little sucker piece. So all we need to do is get it set up in the net cup and I'll try to set it up so that some of the roots are going through the bottom so that they can get to the nutrient water right away. Get it set up in here. Doesn't need any rock pull or anything. And I got my nutrient water all set up as well. So you can see here. Just going to surround it with some clay balls. Lock out the light. Give it some stability. And there we go. It's back in business, ready to go back into the grow tent. So hopefully it's got a nice strong stalk on it this time. And uh, we should see it producing some tomatoes in no time. So let's go to the grow tent and see if we can make room for these two new plants. So let's try to set the camera up here so to give you a good visual of the space that I have in my grow tent. I believe it's a, a three by three or four by four size. 
So starting on this side, we have my indeterminate tomato plant that I brought in from outdoors and it's just growing everywhere. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd ever do an indeterminate type tomato in a grow tent again because it just keeps growing and you have to keep chopping it down. And um, I've got quite a bit of tomatoes coming. These are sun gold cherry tomatoes, which are my very favorite. And I have eaten a few of them off of here already. Um, I have another tomato down here. I have my two strawberry plants that I also dug up from the garden this fall and then put them into hydroponics. And we've been enjoying two or three strawberry strawberries every few days off of here. So it's been kind of a fun uh, plant to have growing indoors over here in the back and over here on the sides here I have three types of cucumbers going. They are all the um, pathnocarmic. I probably didn't say that word. I always have to look it up. <laughs> Anyways, they only produce female flowers so you don't have to worry about pollination. And we have harvested about four cucumbers. I think Preston's been able to take one in his lunch every day this week. And we got more coming. Can't really see them right now, but that is the first time I've had success with cucumbers in my hydroponics. And I have two pepper plants going. One's a hot pepper. One is a mini bell. They're just starting to send out blooms. And so now we've got to make room for the peas. So I'll give you a good close up of what they look like right now. So we can maybe check back in a couple days before I post this video and see if they're growing. For now we don't have to worry about uh, giving them anything to climb up and according to the package I shouldn't need to give it any trellising but we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to put it in the middle here. This is the tomato that we just planted up and I believe it is a roadster beefsteak tomato. So the tent's pretty full. I have to be honest that um, once I get the pH and the EC set up for the first time, I haven't been coming back and testing the, the levels on them and measuring and keeping track like I should. I started off with good intentions, but it just it's just a lot of work. It's really hard to crawl around in a, in a grow tent, especially when you're um, you know older and got bad knees like I do. So I'm just going with, you know, keeping track what they look like, they look happy. This one is sucking up uh, lots of uh, nutrient water every week. So I'm just mixing up new batches at full strength at the you know, blooming and uh, fruiting stage and topping it up as well as the cucumbers. So, so far everything's looking green and happy and I think I better stop adding any more plants right now. <laughs> so like I said, it's gonna be a few days before I get my video posted. So I'll come back, give you a quick update and see how things are doing after about three days in the grow tent. So here we are three days later at the grow tent and I'll just give you another visual of what I got going on here with my indeterminate tomato. As you can see, start down here where I was showing you the other day, it has grown all the way up into this corner here and it's not really getting much light so I'm thinking I need to cut it off again. Same with the cucumbers they're starting to grow above the light as well so I guess I need to figure out how to kind of train them back down and uh, keep them going somehow under the grow lights here. Just give you a quick peek of cucumbers that are coming one just about ready to pick there. Got another one back there and in the back here. There's some more coming. These are the Diva. I think those are my favorite, the Diva. They're kind of like a, a English cucumber. Got a nice skin. And here are the peas. You can see one is kind of outgrowing the rest, but uh, they're definitely coming along okay. This little guy is probably the slowest growing, but we will keep an eye on them. So I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, planting of peas that I'll be growing indoors hydroponically using the crack key method inside my grow tent vegetable garden. 
So thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave me a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thank you and happy gardening.